Alright, here's an update on the Jeep. So I replaced a couple of the roller rockers that I thought might have felt a little loose. And uh, the tick is still there. Uh, at least you got the video that shows you how to get in there. Hopefully yours are, are more easy to get to than mine. Um, apparently the, the bad ones are closer to the timing chain and I just can't get them out without taking the timing loose. And I'm no mechanic. I don't feel comfortable messing that in depth with it. So, long story short, I've gone round and round with Chrysler and my local dealership, and they have agreed to, the dealership is going to eat part of the labor and reduce the parts down to cost, and they have contacted Chrysler as well, and Chrysler is also going to eat $600 of the labor uh, as something called a good faith warranty. So just keep that in mind if you're fighting the same problem. I know the heads on this thing are, are an issue. Um, I give it a, a little bit longer before Chrysler red tags the uh, the passenger side as well as far as that warranty goes. That, that way you don't have to deal with what I dealt with as far as trying to make sure that they look at it to where the parts are interchangeable because it's the same part number. So, for me, for my case, you know, I, I, I was hoping to get this covered 100% like they initially told me, um, but it looks like all in after tax, I, I'm at about $324, unless they throw something else at me last minute. Um, as it stands now, I should drop the Jeep off tomorrow afternoon. Uh, today is Tuesday, so tomorrow afternoon that would put them uh, working on, or no, today's Monday, I'm sorry, I'm going to day off. Uh, today's Monday, so I'll drop it off Tuesday. They'll start working on it Wednesday. I hope to have it back by the end of the week. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully this fixes it. Hopefully that's all I'm out. You know, 325 bucks, 24 bucks. Um, but like, like I said, if you're fighting your dealership, that's what you need to do is, is use the, the words that I'm giving you. You know, they, they need to contact Chrysler. They're... they're district rep from Chrysler like my dealership has and they need to ask for for help with, with something called a good faith warranty uh, like I said my Jeep's a 2012 with 104,000 miles on it but Chrysler extended the head warranty to 150,000 miles so I've, I've, you've got room to fight this people you just got to be persistent don't take the $2,000 repair bill that they give you because that's what they tried to get me to do like 1800 bucks no not when you told me it was initially covered under warranty I'm, I'm not going down without a fight so I've, I've been going round and round with them and not giving up and this is what it's gotten me I've, I've gotten this repair bill down to $324 so I'll give you all a final update at the end of the week hopefully this covers all of it and uh, I'll be done with this nightmare probably trading this thing in probably next year so stay tuned. Uh, th thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that, that like button and that, that subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Bye.